Hi and welcome to another Ruby programming tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how to write a program to um, calculate the frequency of the words in the text and also count the number of the words in the text. First the step is our text. Second step is Convert our text to array. Count words in the text. After that, count frequency of each word. So first the step is our text. This is the text that I choose. And then we have to convert this text to array. Um, in order to do so, since we want to do it in different ways, one with the split and another one with the scan, I'm going to assign a different variable to our text so we can save our text. So the first variable is going to be a. a is equal to text.split. Next one is a is equal to text dot scan and since we want to be we want them to be separated by words so now that we assign uh, oh sorry this one have to be B because we want to see the differences so this one is B and, and now I'm going to print it so you can see the differences put a puts puts B. Now let's see the output. And another thing is, as you can see, each one of them are on separate line. In order to uh, prevent that, we can put it with prints. So now we're not escaping the line. This is our first array. Uh, it is my pen is green. As you can see, the slashes is still there. So that is the split one. And then in the next one, my pen is green, your pen is blue. It didn't count this it, it didn't count this slash as a word. So that's what we want to use. If you want to try the other splits, other way of doing splits, one of them is without any um, space in between them. Now if we look at the output, we'll see that each one of the words, even the space, counts as a um, character. And then if we change it, if we put a slash in there, and again get the output, we'll see that um, my pen is green is one, and your pen is blue is another one. But now we don't need this, we're just going to use this split. So this is the first part uh, that we converted to array and as we can see here, you can see both of the arrays here. Uh, to make it more neat, I'm just gonna you know, put the back slash in after each one of them so each one of them are going to be in separate lines. So now if we print it again, now if we get the output again, we'll see the first one, the split one is on the first line, and the scan one is on the second line. I'm going to put another backslash in, so uh, the finished is going to be on the next line. Now it's way better. So um, we're done with converting it to array, and now we have to count the words in the text. You can just easily put puts dot um, puts a dot count that will show us how many parts do we have in the first array and the next one is going to show us how many do we have in the second array output again so the first one is nine because we have the slash in there. The second one is 8 because we don't. 
So in order to count a frequency for each word, we need to define the we need to define a new hash. I'm gonna name our new hash C. C is equal to hash dot new. Uh, in order to count the frequency of each word, we need to uh, assign a new hash. So I'm going to put C equal to hash dot new and the number have to be zero. Why? If you put uh, two, three, or any other number, it will start counting from that number. Then instead of putting, uh, you have one my, if you put two here, it's gonna say three my, which we don't want that. And then we wanna go through our array, do, we're not gonna use A, we're going to use B. because we don't want to count slash so each time that goes through the array it has to add one to the number of the frequency and then we want to print it so we can see what we did so puts so I decided to change this puts with print so we can save more space in the output And then at the end, we're just going to print C to see how the final um, hash look like. Just going to put a back slash in before C. As you can see, this is our first array that have a slash in it. The second array is just the words. And the count of the first array is 9. The count of the second array is 8. Um, I think we have to put a space here so it's going to be more readable. Maybe three space. That's better. Uh, and then uh, we put a new hash and our new hash start from zero, starts counting, my is one, pen was one at the beginning and then here after is is, group, is is one, green is one, your is one, pen become two, is become two, and blue is one. Then when we print the final uh, hash down, we will see that pen is two, is is two. We just have the latest assignment. We don't have two pen or two is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.